you guys welcome back to another video and thank you for tuning in this video is going to be pretty exciting because we've got a new set of tires and the wheels for the ml55 and i'm pretty excited here finally we've got wheels for it obviously these stock wheels need gone the new wheels are definitely going to look really great on the car especially the new wheels that i got for this car and the tires they're going to be a lot lighter and a lot better fit for this car um, in terms of tire specs, let's go ahead and talk about that here real quick. Also, I'm not making two separate videos. All of this is going to be in one video. So you guys just sit back, watch through it. You don't have to skip it all. Um, let's just get some watch time hours on this video. So if you guys feel like it, go ahead and smash the like button as well. And now let's get through it. All right. So the tires I went with are 255, 55, 18s. I've been watching a lot of Anderson's uh, videos on the, his ML55. If you guys haven't checked him out yet, go ahead and check out his video. Uh, he's got some great videos on the ML55s. So, and he did talk about tires on the ML55s. And these are pretty much equivalent to a 285 5018s that comes stock on the ML55. So, um, and I also did, you know, the tire measurement and stuff. And 255 55 18s, just going up that half inch on that profile, pretty much makes an equivalence to a 285 50, 18. So, um, and also the other thing too is those tires are hard to come by. And if you do find them, they're really expensive. But the 255, 55, 18s are fairly common tires you can uh, pick up for uh, these kind of cars. Uh, so we went with a, let's see what brand this is, Hemisphere. I uh, did some research on these tires. They're actually pretty good tires, not gonna lie. Uh, they're not your typical Continental Michelin tires. Um, obviously, I don't need those tires on these cars. Uh, these would do great for, uh, you know, the kind of driving I do, uh, you know, just daily driving. So these are great tires. Apparently, um, from what I've looked at on the internet, they're very quiet, they're very smooth, and they're very great. Uh, as an all-season tire um, in terms of uh, high performance all-season tires uh, hence here you can see 4x4 high performance so these are the tires I went with so those are the specs now let's talk about the wheels I know you guys are itching to see the wheels but I just want to talk wheel specs in case you guys are interested in what I'm gonna be running on the car and uh, if you guys are actually looking for wheels to throw on your ML55 so I went with the Rosenstein wheels these are flow form wheels flow form wheels are actually very very great wheels um to be honest they are a lot lighter than the stock wheels these wheels actually weigh 21 pounds which is going to be drastically lighter than what um we have on the ml55 it's gonna wheels actually run 18s as well i decided to go with 18s just stick with 18s i wasn't sure about 19s or 20s but i figured i'll stick with the 18s i believe the stock wheels are 18 by 9 but these are 18 by 8.5 it's just half an inch uh less wider than the stock wheels which to be honest isn't really much of a difference uh, going 18 by 8.5 actually uh, fit a lot better with these uh, tire specs, which are 255s. Um, I mean, obviously you can run 265s on the 8.5 or uh, 275, but I decided to go with the 8, 8.5 because, you know, this was more common for this wheel that I was going for. So these wheels actually weigh 21 pounds. This size only came with a five by one one two so these wheels are actually require probably about a five millimeter spacer to clear the front obviously since these don't clear the front because you need spacers um i knew in mind i was gonna run spacers on these cars anyways because you do need spacers because of the fender 
these fenders really stick out and uh, the tires that are just tucked in doesn't look as great in terms of aesthetic wise and performance wise. So that's why I'm going with uh, spacers. A lot of people go with 20 millimeter spacers and I'm going with 25 millimeter spacers. Uh, flush looks great, which would work with 20 millimeter spacers, but a 25 would just give it just that little aggressive look to it. Um, I didn't mention also, these are 43 offsets. Stock wheels, I believe are 52 offsets. So a little more aggressive than the stock wheels, but check it out. These are the 25 millimeter spacers. I know they look huge. I went with black also, so it also matches with the tires and the wheels. These are the lug nuts. I believe these are 50 mil, 50 millimeters. This is how they look. Obviously you go with a ball socket rather than a uh, cone socket because these actually work with these wheels just from looking at it. Guys, just got back from picking up the wheels. These look meaty as heck. I wanna show you guys real quick how they look before I show you how they look on the car. But check these out. Oh man, that's so clean. Yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, get these on the, uh, on the ML here real quick. And then uh, we'll see how they look like. All right, guys, you ready to see the car? This actually looks really great. A few things I want to cover here that I'm so glad I went with are the 25 millimeter spacers. Now check out the fitment on here. Like how I was saying, I wanted it just to poke out just a tad bit. It's actually not too bad. Um, it just pokes out just a tad bit uh, compared to the 20 millimeter spacers. Uh, it just makes it look really aggressive. Just, just on this body style in general. So this is the front right here. I mean, with a 20, you're probably going to tuck in probably really flush. It just depends on what actual tires you go with. Because these tires I'm running, uh, they have a much more, what would you call it, uh, aggressive side profile. So it sticks out just a little bit. Obviously, you guys can tell right here. But this is the front, and that's how it's looking. Let's check out the rear real quick.
I think the rare looks amazing also. Oh yeah, just that little poke does it all. I mean, don't get me wrong, like, it just depends on what preference you look going with. The 20s work or the 25s work. Anything lower than that, to be honest, on this body style, I don't know. It just wouldn't look aggressive, especially with the wide fenders right here. These guys over here is what you want to um, look out for right here. So 25 millimeter spacers, amazing. That's a better that's a better angle. Also, the other thing I noticed, the red calipers poke out like crazy. And I love it. I mean, these are pretty faded. And they probably have to be redone. But I mean, they don't look bad at the moment. We just got new wheels on there, so. Uh, yeah, they, I mean, they're not bad. But at least redoing them would look good. Right quality is night and day uh the setup i was running previously which was 235 60 18s it just didn't feel great at all uh in terms of switching gears like when you're accelerating and distributing the power these actually grip really really well the 235s were way too stretchy that whenever you shift gears you could kind of feel the the car like fishtail but it's actually not fish fishtailing but you can feel it when you're driving because because since this is all wheel drive, uh, you can feel the power distribute to each wheel and these actually feel pretty smooth. So I'm pretty impressed with that. Again, 255, 55, 18s, they're solid tire. They run equivalent to the 285, 50, 18. So this is a really good spec and these tires are pretty popular, especially running tires on these kind of cars. I didn't show you guys the other side, but we're gonna go to walk around here real quick. Oh man, dude, that fitment is insane, guys. Insane. There's not much really left to talk about, but just to show you guys the overall look of the car. I'm glad I went with these uh, wheels. These wheels look amazing. If you guys wanna run these wheels, I can put the link in the description for you guys to check it out. Uh, OEM wheels, 18 by nine, these 18 by 8.5. So I'm really glad, I'm really impressed with this. Uh, this looks really good, guys. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and close out for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Uh, installing new wheels are one of my favorite modifications to do on a car and one of my favorite videos to actually film for you guys. So if you guys have any questions about my setup, Go ahead and uh, shoot me a DM on Instagram or just actually put comments down below and I'll I'll make sure I answer to all of you guys. All right. And if you guys are new to the channel and you enjoy this content, go ahead and smash the like button, smash the subscribe button as well. Join the channel and shoot, we'll be doing more modifications to this car. So keep up. All right, guys. I'll see you later.